Hello everyone and welcome back. It is going to be going on to map 2 between Misfits and NRG very shortly. Yeah, it was a very quick first map. It was, been... even though it was 16-8, it felt pretty It was quick, fast. it was very, it was routine. Yeah. It felt like it was routine. Standard day at the office really for Misfits, wasn't it? Like 12-3 first half, easy done. Start the second half off, loose pistol around but still with the map. Really can't complain about that at all. Mirage, good start there for uh, Misfits. Now they have the opportunity to close out today with a 2-0, which would basically secure them through to the finals if they're not already secured through to the finals. Yeah, it would just secure them a higher seating as well. Right? Yeah, always, always, high seating. always want the higher seating, I guess. Always what you want. And they are moving over onto their own map pick of Overpass, which is good news for them. Um, in saying that, though, I mean, Overpass, it's not like... I wouldn't necessarily say it's their best map, um, but they have played it a little bit uh, throughout the last few months, a little bit in the Pro League as well. Misfits also played a little bit, so... Uh, sorry, NRG played a little bit as well. So I think that, uh, for this map, I mean, both teams coming into it are going to have uh, a bit of an idea of what they want to be doing. Yeah. At least you'd hope. Well, Misfits obviously picked it if they're very confident on their T-side. You wouldn't yeah. pick it if you're not confident in your T-side. So let's take a look on the mainstream. Rogue taking Renegades to overtime. So oh, wow. Yep, so Renegades... I don't know what to say. It's like they go overseas, they win the Asia Minor, they win... Like an old major tournament, I think it was like the SLI, wasn't it? They win that, they defeat Virtus Pro, and they come back, and then they're in overtime against Rogue. Yeah. Where you, they're, tr they're, they're fighting to get points to get into the finals for EPL. And this happens. Yes. The, the only time they can go, and this happens. Yeah. I don't know. Renegades, uh, I don't know, like, what? Yeah. Feels bad. Whatever. I don't know. Don't want to comment on it too much, because it's just, it's just a can of worms, really. Uh, but... Why do they call it a can of worms? Like, when you open a can of worms. I guess a can of worms is something that you don't want, right? But why worms? Like, how do the worms get in the can? But I suppose it's like canned food, right? And yep. the worm got in the in the food. Okay. And so then you open it up and you're like, oh, it's a can of worms. And it's like, rip. Does that not make sense? It does, but why? Like, it means like we, we don't want to be opening it up because we don't want to be talking about it because there's too much to talk about, right? Yeah. So how does that relate with opening up a can that's been contaminated? I don't know. Doesn't make as much sense. Don't read into it too much, Kevin. These idioms make no sense. Just like your food ones. See, that was a food one and you didn't even like it. I can't believe it. How about ECA? Do you play ECA? We've talked about this before, We've Kevin. talked about this before. I've already well. told you I'm not good enough to play ECA. Why do you keep bringing it up for? I don't know, because I feel like I've been playing with you these last couple of days. There's been a guy on my team that's been I'm going 5-20. and 20. Yeah. It's, I was like, Elfish guy, is that you? Yeah, and then it was me like, yes. And the one guy just going, wow, do heck. Wow, do. Yeah, um, yeah, I wish I was good enough to play ECA, but sadly, that's not within my skill set. Uh, to be fair, you don't have to be really good to play ECA. You just need to be able to afford the subscription price. I to be fair, um, it's just more of, but I don't, do, you, do you feel like it's worth the investment? No, that's I, the I do, but I feel like if I play... I'm ruining everyone else's game or four other people's games. Oh, not necessarily. I mean, if you yeah. queue with your, a bunch of mates, you wouldn't be ruining anyone's game. Yeah, maybe not. So, all right. That's maybe well, a possibility. We'll you know? talk about you it can, later. So, if, if anyone out there who's looking to make it up there in the ranks, maybe you can pick up Elfish Guy and get him in your five stack. Yeah. Probably wouldn't make it up in the ranks if you do that, though. Maybe ranks isn't everything. Getting if up you want to tank nice. your rank, you can pick me up. Oh, I don't think you can tank your ranks that badly yet. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know really I don't how it so. works. Anyway, these guys know how it works. Who? Uh, misfits NLG and Misfits, yeah. I don't think they are intrinsic to the ways of the ECA matchmaking system. I'm pretty sure. But they they're know. definitely in, they're definitely familiar with the ECA servers. Yes. Because they're going to be playing on them. Yes. Speaking of the servers, that was why we kind of had a bit of a, a downtime. It there. was the maintenance, of the course. Server, it's, yeah. Because we go, okay, it's Wednesday over here. It's not Tuesday night. Well, well, we forgot. It is Tuesday night over there. Yeah. And that's the daily maintenance. It always happens. Always happens. So it's always in Pro League, um, which means we have a bit of a break, but that's okay. Um, we've had that break and, I don't know, had a bit of a chill. I'm feeling refreshed. I'm feeling ready. Just waiting to get in the game. 1.53 for Misfits. Uh, <sighs> I say that's, once again, it's just a very, according to the Betway odds, probably a lot of the punters probably just reacting and going... And uh, like they got completely hammered hmm. by misfits, uh, I'd probably keep it a little, a little bit more bit even closer, if I was, yeah. if yeah. it was me. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't have jumped that hard on the NRG because if you start on the CT side, it's up to how good a performance. This yeah. is probably why I'm never a punting person because I, I run through the odds and everything. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to put anything on at the moment. Uh, it's not 100 percent comfortable for me to do so yeah. just yet. So well, it's never going to be that, that's me, right? I'm always a cautious kind of person. Yeah, but some but a cautious person never ever wins at anything. Sometimes well, because they just well, hold on for too long, yeah. and the opportunity it just goes missing. Yeah, I can and see then that. you you you'll, 
you just go look at the opportunity and you go, that could have been me, but it isn't. It isn't. But well, that's okay. Sometimes it's better to not win and not lose. I don't know. Who cares? Whatever. I'm just going on a random tangent. Overpass is where we are going. Did I say Inferno before? I feel like I did. Maybe. But uh, uh, I was talking about Overpass. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how this one does go. I mean, I think, uh, I think I've think i actually watched an RGA playing on Overpass this season once or twice. And they did not do too badly. Wasn't that just Breezy charging the underpass and just killing things? Might have been. But I definitely have not seen Misfits play it. I think this is actually the first time I've cast Misfits this season. Yeah, I haven't seen much of Misfits this season as well. They've been getting a lot more of their kind of debuts on the big on the big stream. On the big screen. Uh, I like to see what they have on the T side, how well they execute together, and whether NRG have something in their tank. I mean, they were pretty badly hammered on Mirage, but they've had enough time to reset, talk things over. Now starting on the preferred CT side, can kind of just let their aim and crossfires do the talking as Misfits. Going for what seems to be a faster B setup. Well, initially that's what it seemed like, but now they've slowed down just a little bit. The utility is going to go across. It is smoke, I think, up into the sniper's nest. And so Amanek, the first one, making his way out onto the bomb site. There's not really too much of a hold actually there for NRG. It seems to be playing more or more a bit of a retake, which is going to allow Amanek into a fairly forward position there in dirty water. But in saying that, they are going to still be mostly bunched up on the side, and I think we're going to see, yeah, Devo Devek having a bit of a problem there. He does go down. There is one for Sean. He's going to keep losing his teammate and his own life to ANG. As soon as that smoke dissipates up in that sniper's nest, that was an easy round for NRG. That was really well played from NRG. There was no need to contest them coming to B site, so they just go, let's play very far back. Let's play jungle. Let's or play ABC. Whatever you want to call it. Let's play CT door. Let's play heaven. Oh, look, heaven smoked off. That's all right. We'll just chill out and play retake and let our M do the talking and crossfires. And it worked out perfectly for them. I only lose one member. So that's good because they can take kit, take armor, SMGs to farm up money as misfits will just look to maybe get the bomb plant down one more time. So they managed to get it down once. Second time will be a great benefit for their economy as looking to purchase very early in the third round. But two M4s up on the side of NRG, which is very early. Yeah, but... Only one from us, where last time on their anti eco they were one from one and four, three from us was an SMG. So overall, I actually don't mind it for NRG. I'm obviously assuming they can take both of those M4s through this round, but that's kind of like a fairly par score, you know? Like you probably expect to take both of the M4s at least through a round like this. This is really respectful play from NRG, where they're giving a lot of space, but now the SMGs come forward at short and they just completely farm up the cash. I was about to say the M4s, like the B site holders played very respectfully and then the unders probably didn't play as respectfully and just pushed forward, which is the correct decision to make. They just farmed up the SMGs, didn't risk the M4s at all, which is really good to see because it means they keep all their guns up in the next round and Misfits, yeah, they can buy but they didn't get the bomb plant down and sick. I have a feeling he did buy head armor, but game's playing a prank on me once again. Yeah, probably. Probably is. Anyway, Misfits are going to buy into this one. Obviously, they had the bomb down in round number one. So, got enough for the AKs. Not too much utility, Okay, it wasn't though. a prank this time. Wasn't a prank? No, it wasn't a yeah. prank. Okay. Anyway. No utilities for Misfits, really, to play with. So, we're relying on just the raw entries. And this is a very interesting what? sort of a boost from NRG. Oh, my oh, goodness. Hello. What? Oh, well, this is absolutely sick. Because they know they can Amanek? spot him out. And Amanek... Does he realize? I think, I, think he, I think he does see them, but that is a pretty sick boost. I like seeing that. No, Amanek doesn't know. Doesn't he? No. So he just heard the spray. I swear he just looked at him. But you don't, because normally you're, you're focused yeah, on no, there. I so understand he hears that. the spray and it's like, where is that coming from? Yeah. And he didn't get tanked, so he has no visual identifier in which vague direction. All he hears is shots. That's it. That is it. Interesting, but I wonder if they're going to use it again. I mean, that's like a pretty risky boost, I feel, you know? Like, if there's someone in dirty water... I don't feel like it's that risky, because if you have dirty water control, then... What about underpass, right? Someone opens that door. GG. It still covers up slight part of the angle, so if you dirty water... It's up to having dirty water oh. control, so that's why you want head armor. A stick just gets completely annihilated Ooh. and fugly, trying to do his best. Tag down to eight. He has to just try to stay alive. Buy time for the rest of his teammates to rotate, and he's buying time. Amanek not checking close corner. Fugly's now picked up an AK-47. He's still alive, swinging around, buying time for his team, and there is no time for Misfits to work with. This is really well played from NRG. Just aggression, utilizing the aim well, and now 
David Duvac, too many angles to check, too many lines, and he's going to be executed. Great upgrades on the side of NRG, only losing Cirque. Guess what? Free upgrades to AK-47s. Their yeah. economy is now starting to bloom, and missed it's back to the drawing board because nothing's working out. Well, this is that CT side we were talking about where we thought, you know, NRG, maybe if they started on the CT side, would have had a better time on Mirage. Now, I'm not sure that they would have ended up winning it or not, but certainly starting off pretty nicely on the CT side here of Overpass. And if things can continue this way, then uh, they're going to put themselves in a fairly similar position to what we saw Misfits in, I'd imagine, on Mirage. But again, 3-0. and zero. Still early days. We've only seen really one gun round out of Misfits. And it didn't have that much utility yeah, as exactly. well. Yeah, exactly. So we need to still hold our opinions just for a moment until we get to see a bit more out of uh, this map. Yeah, absolutely a strong start, but you don't win the race by just having a strong start. You need to continue continue forward and charge the finish line. As Misfits are just slowly stacking up for an A site tank. They might just go through toilets, maybe just relieve themselves and then clean their hands before they try to charge in the A bomb site. But it looks like they're just gonna proceed forward. No waiting for the players to suck with the AWP finds one. Oh, he forgets to click though, so he won't find the second. And David Dubeck may be able to retrieve an AWP as well. He's got the AWP, six managed to take down Fugly, so A site has to be just given up for now. They're waiting for the retake, and six also found an AK-47. Can do some work, but he's gonna be taken oh. down. Oh my goodness, oh. sick and David Dubeck, they'll get a kill apiece. I and now it's a one-on-one -on -one oh. down to Dabs. I thought he had a two-man spray down there with that AK, but it was actually David Dubeck getting one with the AWP. Now though, the 1v1, still winnable here for Misfits in this round, though Dab seems to have spotted Devo Duvek out. He's still waiting that timer down. Creeping around that smoke. Eyes off the shot, but there's just, there's just no kills coming out here for Dabs. He needs to find the kill now, and he will. Just in time, I feel. Yeah, just. But, That's a very, very tight round and pretty dirty round for NRG as well. Given they were quite successful previously. Maybe giving away too much map control, too much respect this time, and allowing Misfits to charge on the bomb site, getting a lot of free picks, and then the AK and Orb doing work on an ill-timed retake. Luckily, Daps was able to make it work out. So energy, a coughing fit for sure, but they're just gonna have Why to. Why you gotta bully me like this? <laughs> <sighs> just gonna compose themselves, just like old mate Jordan Mays is doing right now. Yep, I'm good. I'm good. Oh. That was close, but not uh, not a kill for Cirk. I like the aggression, though, out from the AWP. You want to see this from NRG because, obviously, that last round was a bit w iffy, but I want to see them starting to dictate this game, right? Because on Mirage, they just had no option to do that, really. It was just all misfits deciding how everything was going to play out. NRG now is in the forward, or in, I suppose, an advantageous position where they can start to take these sort of uh, fights and maybe try and take control of the game a little bit better. And you can see Fugly was trying to take control very early on by going unders and fast and dirty water and just clearing out the angles. So, yeah, he's left the door open, but he's also left Misfits a little bit nervous on where the CTs are playing. And Fugly is still just playing very dynamic, charging all the way around. Breeze is now ag aggressing. Sick won't be spotted out for now. Breeze is still alive, so he's actually taken very, very close control. This will not allow Debo Dubek to come out. Debo Dubek spraying daps through the wall, though. Now Breezy will strike. You'll find one. He's charging forward for more. Oh my oh. goodness, Breezy. Absolute man man with the A4. Takes down the Orpa. They've come out through Monster, but there's no support because their last member is trying to flank all the long way around. Yeah. So finally, Fugly gets taken out. But AJ with the Silence Stand 4 spraying down, gets one, and just buys enough time. Sick making so much noise. Cirque has to hear this, surely. Apparently not. Well, Cirque maybe he does. Fall, but... Maybe he'll hear it and fall down. So Cirque is watching the rear. And we peek out just after Sick calls towards heaven. And it's 20 seconds left for him to play with here. So yeah, he Breezy, I think Breezy knows. So they've yeah. got both angles covered. Breezy. He just needs to find a frag right now. Otherwise, round's over. And he has I think round's over. So, yeah. And Cirque is aware, so he's just chilling out. Sick's going to make some noise, but he's just going to save the AK-47. And NRG continuing their good form. Five rounds. This round, Breezy stepping up. And now the double up coming out for NRG as well. This is starting to be a bit painful for Misfits. A little bit. 5-0 and zero for NRG. Did start off at 6-0 and zero for Misfits on Mirage CT side, so perhaps we're seeing a repeat of history, though flipped a little bit on its head. Misfits, though, again, are going to be able to come through with a buy. No warp this time. Decent amount of utilities, at least, but everything that they seem to be doing is not really working out too well. They've gotten... They, well, rather, they've pushed into B, they've pushed into A, They've explored underpass a little bit. I mean, they haven't really had any presence up towards long just yet. And I don't feel like they've had too much presence out from underpass into dirty water. 
there's been underpass up into the A bathrooms and that kind of thing, but maybe that's another option for them. For now, though, just going to go through the monster tunnel by the looks of things, and uh, it's not worked out too well because AJ is there. Daps is also there, and it's a 3 for 1 trade so far, though. AJ is very low on HP, so could an easy pick, but no! Oh. Great shot from AJ. So no scope on the stick. And, oh, did he get the leg shot there as well? It's all happening. This is just a solid setup where. A and J, yeah, he was deployed on the other side, but Daps was ready with a flashbang supporting him as well. So, yeah, Daps loses his life, but that allows A and J to get a few more kills and normally it's a one-and-done position. And that is just a strong setup by NRG. Really, really happy to see this because we didn't have the opportunity to see, see them enough on the CT side of Mirage. We saw a couple of glimpses of a very strong setup. And Misfits back to the drawing board. As Jordan has a cheeky grin in his face, I don't know why. I'll show you later, Kevin. It's right, not no safe worries. for broadcast. Oh, no. <laughs> um, That's not what I want to hear, Jordan. This yes, is family is. friendly. Come on, man. This is family friendly. We leave the... You like to portray all this innocent persona on the uh, on the broadcast, but I know you, Kevin. Oh, yes. We've been to Manila together. Yes. All right. I've seen things. I've done things like margarita and a takeaway. Margarita. <laughs> $6 margarita takeaway. Uh, it wasn't $6. It was close to the 9 Australian dollars. Oh, yeah. B-Site. They've got pistols, managed to make their way out. And the boost comes from Breezy. They know they're on the side. They have to pursued forward beyond the threshold. Sean, Breezy. What? <laughs> He'd oh like, my oh goodness. Yeah, right he sprays down Shazam. He sprays down Sean, sorry. And then caches Shazam in the head. Yeah, I don't even know how that happened, but whatever. Oh. Ammonek, I almost thought he was going to get that frag there, actually. Or Fugly was going to get that frag onto Ammonek, rather. Still, not too bad of a scenario actually here for Misfits, though they're both playing from the same angle, so that might be a bit of a problem. A and J, oh, covered off well by Sir, down to 11 HP, oh 4 goodness. HP, and he survives. The knife kill comes out as well, NRG, what's going on? Yeah, <laughs> A and J down to 4, you got tagged to the edge of the wall. What a ridiculous round. Oh my goodness, it is, it's 7-0, but so far it's been a bit of a, dare I say, a mini circus so far. We've had highlights of everything. NRG still come up on top, mind you, but... Misfits going to be rolling the dice at B one more time. Going to be utilizing all the numbers. They're not showing any presence at mid, not showing any presence at all towards any other different parts of the map, and... I don't know how well this is going to work out, because there's going to be a time where eventually NRG are going to be just stacking all their forces towards B. They're coming oh. oh, sick. That is so crucial. A and J, a lot of work to do right now. Oh. There's two kills. Where's the third? Okay, the Molotov works out eventually. But three on three. Rotation is now happening for NRG as Misfits has control B. Well, this is the best chance now for Misfits to actually find a round here. Obviously, they haven't got the bomb down just yet, but that should be fairly straightforward for them. They have the smokes. They've got the utility. They've got the control of the B bomb site as well. And it's a 3v3, you know, a lot of the time when they've been holding this site, it has been an advantageous player scenario for NRG, but now you have to feel Misfits are in with a real good chance here. And Daps, if he would have won that Angel, maybe there was a good shot for NRG, but he doesn't. Even though Sir does manage to take down Shazam, it's probably going to be a little bit too much here for Fugly. 1v1 though now, as he does manage to take down Devo Duvek, and it's just Amanek left alive. Oh, oh my goodness! It. And that's just so bad for Misfits, because now, again, another round that they... Really had a good chance of winning. Goes the way of NRG, just on the back of an individual play from Fugly. Great stuff from him. 8-0 and zero now for NRG. And this is where it's starting to become painful. And this is where NRG just given a little bit of space. A little bit of more time to reset. Yeah. Fugly's continued the good form so far in terms of impact kills, because that is an impact round and a half. And Misfits, maybe they'll throw the dice at B. Maybe they'll try to take mid control. I want to see a little bit more diversity, because this is starting to look very, very flat and two-dimensional. Yeah. Not something you want to see, be seeing in 2017. Not on your own map pick either, as well. Like, that's the real takeaway here for Misfits, is that they're down now 8-0 on a map that they chose. So, need to be doing something better than this. I mean, there's still time in this first half to come back into it, but realistically speaking, where are you going to be hoping for? I mean, like, 10-5, I suppose, best case scenario, really, for Misfits. I mean, obviously 8-7, but I think that's a bit unrealistic. Um, I mean, 11-4 maybe is what we're even looking at as as, like, doable for Misfits? Right need now, at least though. five. It, it just feels like, once again, five's going to be the golden number. Also, is the about the same amount of fingers and thumbs I have on one hand, so that's good. I don't know where I was going with that one. I'll be realistic, Jordan. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with a lot of things, to be honest. I try. I try. It's fugly. 
Will be spotted out, but he still has support from Daps. Flashbang doesn't really catch him off guard at Shazam. Oh, he's just going to be ducking his head down. By the rock stick. Spraying. Oh, I feel like if Daps would have had a, maybe two or three more bullets there, he probably would have gotten that kill. Sirk does manage to find one, though, for NRG. And Daps is, I mean, he's in a bit of a difficult position here because he, he can't really go anywhere and he's got two angles to watch, but takes the timing. Oh, it's all going wrong for Misfits right now. I mean, how long Devo Devek did watch that angle, I don't know, but... Oh, my oh. goodness. And that's just... It's just, it can't get any worse right now for Misfits, can it? It can. I mean, they could just be team killing each other in spawn, so it can get worse. It's Sean trying his best to find anything he can. But when Shazam, when they just line up, where Shazam executes his own teammate, where NRG just so confident, because I, I didn't even mention this, but ANJ was pushed very deep at B, which allowed NRG to take control of A. Yeah. When they're pushing with confidence right now, like, what else do you do? There's just a complete whitewash, and whatever you call it, that's what I say with the odds. I'm like, I wouldn't necessarily swing that far, because... You wouldn't swing that way, Kevin? I wouldn't swing that far. <laughs> Don't twist my words that way. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> I would never twist your words. Oh, as if. But now this is, this is NRG 9-0 in the lead. We know that they are a strong defensive side, given they have a lot of strong aimers on their side. And now it's starting to show up. And if it, Misfits trying something different. But Zerk, I mean, he's so good at locking down these angles. But Devo Duvek, great trade. Allows them to continue the train out long A. Rotation now slowly coming out from Misfits. Oh, sorry, from NRG. Misfits. We'll be able to make their way on site very quickly and Ooh. fugly. Gonna cop it from Devo Duvek, who's doing great work right now. And yeah. now, this is finally a round which is going in the favor of Misfits after a very, very fast long A play. Yep. Finally, something that's working for Misfits. About time. But is it going to work out? I mean, we've seen rounds that Misfits could have won that maybe didn't go their way. Oh, again, this one, like, this really should go the way of Misfits right now. But who's to say they uh, don't just lose the round anyway? Probably. No, they should take this. They should so take they've this. got the position. Breezy's on the long way around. He's no, he's not even a position to contest. So the only chance they win this is, say, Daps just, you know, drops a smoke grenade on the bomb because everyone's left it. He flashes out. He kills two people and sticks the defuse and they just completely whiff on him. And yeah, David Dubek is aware of this scenario. He'll lose his life, but he'll take the round for the team. Will he lose his life? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Just didn't quite get far enough away. He sacrificed his well-being for the good of the team. He probably would have gone down to Breezy anyway, all things considered. So, overall, not too bad there for Misfits. But if Debo Duvek didn't stay there, that could have been... A, there would have been a chance for Daps to kind of sneak it away. Yeah. Smoke, flashbang. Maybe. 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 Anyway, 9-1. and one. Misfits do finally secure a round here. But, obviously, NRG winning that many rounds in a row does have their economy in a good spot. Uh, now, they can't buy off after this one because yes. they have invested in the double off setup. Exactly. They don't have enough money to buy probably next round. But they did have enough money to buy into this round. So there's still that chance that NRG can just shut this one out, really, and turn this into a 10-1, maybe 11-1, depending on where the money's at for Misfits. Good grenade out for Breezy there. Doesn't do too much damage, but a nice spread. Puts a lot of players down to a one-shot for the M4s, and Breezy, two-man spray down. Great work from him. Eventually does get traded out by Devo Duvek, but A&J is there to get the trade for himself. And overall, this should buy enough time for the rotation for the other NRG players to come across. Though the bomb, they're not even really able to go down just yet from Misfits, and so that's just the worst situation right now for them. It's going to get reset right on towards the end of the first half. Uh, that is the worst way as well, because you didn't do enough damage in the economy of the CT side, where Breezy's like, oh, I can buy an M4, we still have double warp, and everyone's pretty happy. Yeah. Some cash in the pocket, and Misfits have to go, well, the cash is not that good. It's looking like, I don't know, an eSports bank account. E all, over the <laughs> yeah. all over the place a little bit, sometimes. Yeah. eSports stream would be, you had probably 16k or more, 160k in everyone's bank account. All right, let's see what Cirque can do. Just pushing up a little bit with the AWP, but it decides to fall back. I mean, it doesn't really need to do anything too aggressive. It's, it's not like NRG struggling for rounds. Doesn't look like they're really under any pressure at all. And so, gets him information a little bit early on, but not too much. And now just watches long. Easy good shot. Oh, good shot even as well, yeah. What are the rest of the Misfits member members going to do? I mean, Daps is now supporting with an M4. There's three members on the A-bomb site. Or is that Breezy actually still holding on to heaven? Or it might just be two on the A-bomb site. And Daps has a lot of work to do. They don't have a flash to bust through this. They, don't have a, they only have a single smoke grenade. So they can't really bust through this. And the Cirque is just still watching the line. 
And there it is. Zerk will spot this out and Daps. Close contest. Zerk and Daps teaming up. Sean Gares will finally strike and make his appearance as he gets two kills. Crucial two kills as well because it allows yeah. him a little bit more access on the A bomb site. It makes it doable, but look at this. Fugly's all the way around behind Long A already. And Sick may, may just be stuck in a position for now. Yeah, I think Fugly just gave away his position throwing out that flashbang, so... I think he might have been spotted. Yeah, what is he spotted? Maybe. Um, anyway, Bomb will go down here, and that's a great shot from Sean. Equalizes it back to 2v2. <gasps> Gets the shot onto Ange as well. Everyone just dies! Yeah, that was really two. poorly misplayed. Once again, NRG, their retakes are... They look good on the holds, but the retakes looking absolutely shocking so far. They're all coming out one by one, not watching the correct angles, not utilizing any of their utility, and they just get absolutely punished by Sean. And this is such a good start as well. They got the first two kills. They're able yeah. to lock down the A bomb site. Okay, two on three. The Cirque gives a very easy kill over to Sean, who's been watching an angle. And then AJ charges up and doesn't check his left. Yeah. Uh, it was a force buy as well from Misfits in that run, so. Puts themselves in, I mean, a better position than where they were, but admittedly, like, still not that great. NRG are aware of that as well, so they put that up on the hands of Cirque. They've invested in as much as they can across the board, and, I mean, this round really could play quite a big part, actually, because whoever loses this one, you know, going to be putting themselves in a pretty poor position, economically speaking, with only a couple of rounds left in the half, so... Could end up being, you know, 11, 12 rounds for NRG if they do win this one, or up to maybe five for Misfits if they do win it. Still a terribly told, as they are once again stacked close towards the B-bomb site. Now progression play happening towards short. A&J, he was the only member who had a CZ, and now he's upgraded. Free AK-47 is sick. He's kind of left out to drive by the rest of his teammates, and yeah, Misfits, they're lining up for an execute to retake territory right now, but it's a little bit late because they lost that short water, have to utilize a few crucial flashbangs to retake territory, and they go, all right, we've got this territory. We got, how, what do we got? We got two smokes, two flashbangs. Gonna have to just make a chance play and hope that entries work. And they're just making contact out monster A and J. He's ready with the AK-47 and he's gonna swing wide. He's gonna get caught out by surprise. So somehow Misfits managed to make it work out. Down frame, down only one. This is really poorly played from NRG. Didn't need to be swing, just needed to wait their lines. And what was a great round has now been reduced to shambles. Yeah. Fugly's only got a UMP. Cirque with an AWP. No kits. Unless they're retrieval from the bomb site, they might just have to save the AWP. Yeah. Let Fugly try to do damage, and that has just gone absolutely shockingly wrong. <laughs> Again, for NRG, I mean, a little bit of a second wind here for Misfits late in the half. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. I mean, they've had a, a really shocking start to the half. Five so. rounds, that's all they need. Three yeah. rounds is very doable. NRG are going to eco the next round. If they can get the five, yeah, maybe. But so far, NRG, you have to back them at least to get one more round out of these last couple. Fugly might save that UMP as well. So I'd say 11-4 would be the most likely hub. Hypothetical situation. Yeah. Well, it's 50-50, right? Because two rounds left in the half, each of them gets one. There you expect Misfits will, will get this one? They should. Unless they I say they ballistic. should, unless they drop a, a round against Pistols. Because NRG, they should, in my mind, they should have had the round. There was no reason why they needed to swing. They had all the correct positions. All right, they lost control short, lost control long A, but you don't need to be exposing yourself to Monster by wide swinging. Yeah. Because you have to suspect that late round, you know, they could be making a contact play. They don't have that much utility left. All right, so... Cirque is... Oh, my goodness. He's managed to hop across. He's getting so lucky on the hops. And now Fugly, he's going to lose his life very early on trying to deal unders. And Shazam holding the line with the AWP. Oh, Cirque. Great will win the duel once again. But Sick is making it work at unders as well. We'll take down Breezy. I think he was at unders. Cirque again finding a frag. But every time he gets one, someone else is dying on his team. And that's just not allowing him to pull this round back in the favor of NRG. He's really putting in the effort, but it's just not happening. And so now I guess it's really down to Daps here. If he can find someone creeping through the bathroom or perhaps planting on the A-bomb side if they don't check the angle properly or something like that. I reckon we'll get caught up by Sean because Sean should be aware that there is a potential for someone to be clo holding close to others. So he just needs to wait. Oh, David yeah. Dubeck will check this line. He's been caught out before. So oh, David Dubeck actually loses his life. It's Sean that gets the trade. Yeah. Now it's down to Cirque, who's been in some decent form so far with the AWP. He will push through the smoke. Oh. Amanek has spotted him though. And Amanek on the line. Sean's going to come closer. And Amanek just jumping up. Cirque spots out the shadow. Oh. Sean tags him. Doesn't take him out just yet. They're going to double swing on him. That's a wise decision from Misfits. As Amanek will be able to clean up. Very expensive round, but final round now. They almost lined up for him there as almost. well. Almost. But not quite. So in the end, Misfits do pick it up. And NRG. This is their final round of the half, obviously. 
they need to find this one. I mean, if, if they go 10-5 after that start, like, they were up 9-0. And then to go 10-5, you'd probably be, be a bit disappointed by that. So Especially they had two rounds where they had the advantage. Three yeah, on two, yeah. and there was another five and four. They had the advantage, sure, a very slim advantage. But those are the ones you've got to be capitalizing on and rolling forward. Yeah, so this is the round that you want to see out from NRG. Just to put it to 11-4, put it into more of a favorable CT position there for them. And then when they move on to their T side, they... Should expect to probably pick that one up. And again, it looks like they're going to be getting the first pick out of this one. Fugly will go down. At least there's the trade there. And Sick just looking for Ange, but it doesn't really work out too well for him. As two kills go the way of NRG. And the B-bomb site no longer looks like really an option for Misfits as they rotate off. Sean has posted himself quite far up. But NRG, they just realize, all right, we know there's much utility used, so we'll just use our numbers instead. We'll just swing double flashbang. Sean's just going to tuck him away at the corner and... Oh, Cirque misses a shot with the AWP. Knows that Sean's there, though. And we'll be able to get out safely. The rest of NRG still holding their lines, though. They know there's 45 seconds left and Misfits can go towards A, can go towards B. And Shazam scoped up. If he makes another scoping noise, a &J might catch him off by surprise, but no, Shazam flicks at the right time. a &J caught off by Garden Sirk. Oh my goodness, Aminex so close to firing the shot. Sirk's still alive somehow, but he won't be alive much longer. And once again, another advantage squandered by NRG. And it's really disappointing to oh. see, but Tap somehow this time managed to make the flick work out in his favor. And Aminek doing work so far down one on one. Shazam will be able to land the op shot. So a 5 10 a half, which is definitely great for Misfits because they were down 9 and 0 at one stage. Yeah. And that was a little bit of a shocking end for NRG. They didn't keep the intensity up and they might be suffering from it when they go on their own T side. Yeah, I mean, I would have expected maybe a little bit more out of that one for NRG. I mean, starting off 9 and 0 and then going to 10 5. They like there they, was a potential of going 13-2 in my mind. 13-2 or, yeah, something like that. Like something crazy, but not able to convert it. And so maybe that's the difference between these two teams. Maybe that's enough for Misfits to come back in this second half and win the map. Who knows? I mean, 10-5, it is by any means an overpass. Five rounds of T-side is a close half, given the scenario around this. Let's see whether Misfits have a strong CT side or whether NRG can bring it back as well on the T-side after the break. Hello and welcome back once again. Jordan having a bit, of, a bit of a cheeky bet. No, I wasn't. I was just yeah. looking down at my notes. Yeah, you're looking down at your notes, just coughing all over the place. But I have is, been coughing a lot today. It's I hope you're feeling fun. better. Everyone's been dying of the post-convention uh, flu except for me because I dog yep. the boys. Yeah, well, no, I mean, we, we've had, right, all of us were in Manila. All the CS casters from yeah. Australia were in Manila. We all got sick from there. And, except for me. Except for you. And everyone else that wasn't in Manila was in, at PAX Australia, and everyone got sick from there. So that's everyone in the office right now is just like, Ugh. except for me. Except for you. I don't know how you managed to avoid it. Must have been because I room. dogged the boys. I think that's like rule number three. You don't as long as you dog the boys, you know, get sick. That's fine. But ten to five. Speaking of sick on Misfits, I mean, yeah. having a lot of a colder game in comparison. But Misfits, I felt like struggled very early on. And NRG yeah. had a really good chance of closing out that half. They let it slip a little bit. Yeah. It's They can still take the game, obviously. They're in very good form. 10-5 going on the T side. You take pistol, 13-5.
But you lose Pistol, suddenly Misfits 8, 10. If Misfits Come do back. what they did on the safety side of Mirage, yeah, exactly. could be... A you know, it could be an Ola story of could have been, would have been, but wasn't. I mean, odds there are favouring NRG just a little bit. I mean, I'm probably still feeling like NRG is in a good spot yes. here. Like, 10, 10 rounds on your CT side is, is good. But the reason we're saying that it probably could have done better is because they were up 9-0. So, um, we'll see whether or not they're going to actually be able to close this uh, map out or not. But definitely, I think the, this pistol is actually pretty important for them. I mean, you, you really wouldn't want to let Misfits back into this one. That's more than what they've already done. To be fair. Yeah, absolutely. You want to be taking the victory. You want to be clasping it with both hands. You don't want to be gifting Misfits a 2-0 today. Not after Mirage. You want to fight back, get some pride in. I mean, just look at just look at the logo for Misfits. Sometimes you just don't want to let that dastly rabbit get away. That was sure really we talked bad. about that as well before. Probably not. Uh, and was it me or was it with someone else? But NRG, they're busting on the A bomb side, but Shazam finds one with the P2K. Sean's still alive, dancing around. Needs to find this headshot on Breezy. Won't be able to do so as Breezy still challenging Bank, dancing around. Sean pushes the smoke. Doesn't really work out too well for him. Spungly will take him down. Breezy just charges around the corner and finds two frags. That probably secures the round here for NRG. Sick. Last one left alive, but he's up on A. NRG is hightailing their way over towards B. And, uh, well... I would just save if I was sick. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you got you got a hit armor. Deep that's about kit. one more than one k. That's as much as you're gonna be able to save really out of a pistol round, to be honest. Maybe a grenade if Sean dropped one. Yeah. He, well, Sean didn't have any grenades. The sick is still trying to trying to find a few kills, just tucked away safely. Yeah, it's not really much point. He probably's gonna die to Fugly at this stage because Fugly most likely will check on to pass. Mm, or not? Apparently not. Whatever. Doesn't really make too much of a difference. Because I just run away as far as I can just to try to. S no. Oh no. No, way. there's no time. You, oh, what are you doing, sick? <laughs> Look, oh you, you gave goodness. it a fair shake of the source bottle, Kevin. It wasn't even a fair shake of the source bottle. It's oh. just like there's some nice shots to close it up, but if we went a little bit earlier, yeah, maybe there was a chance because they all did leave. We walked a little bit further. Yeah. Who knows? Oh, well. It's much of a muchness. Much of a muchness. It is what it is. This round goes the way of NRG. Misfits decide to force into it. Sean saving a bit of money there. Oh, I mean, that's not really saving money because smoke, two flashbangs, that's already 700 bucks. That's the same amount as a body armor would be. Yeah, I guess, actually. Because he can't buy body armor, so he goes for grenades instead. Some utility to try to be defensive. Devo Tuvec might have gotten a pick with a USP that allows him to get a smoke. Because otherwise, after you buy body armor, yeah. you should be on 1,550. Yeah, well, whatever. Misfits. TLDR is that they have some stuff to play with. Scout. Shazam. Pistols across the board. I mean, NRG are going to be aware of this, I think. It's pretty standard now to just invest into the second round as a CT if you're not winning it. I think Sick dropped the scout as well, so that allows Shazam to buy the armor. Because you can't afford a scout and an armor. Mm. Unless you go huge in the pistol round. It's not working out, and so far Breezy finds one. Oh, shot from Sick! With the Deagle, finds Breezy. Yep, Devo Charging on B. Devo needs to get one, at the very minimum. He heavy tag on Dap's not good enough, unfortunately. Right. Sick is very fast on the rotate. Oh, gets the kill on Dap, so that's the tag member down. It's three on three. Team, so... Still the AKs are left alive here for NRG, and that's what they need when they're playing at range like this. Fugly and ANJ finding a kill piece, and it is just sick left alive. He has to back out here. Maybe again can try and save with the Deagle this time, as well as armor and the... Try to find the scout as well, but he's being hunted. No, he's just going to back out, so he's not... Maybe he'll be able to retrieve the AK-47. There was an AK lost by Breezy. Uh, sick was able to take him down earlier. I think he is en route Ooh. to try to reclaim it. And Fugly, I think he's aware of this. Yes. I think they've hurt each other, so they've just stalled. And well, that's going to be favourable for NRG, up. really. If uh, there's no... Guns. Oh, yeah. So three AK secured through for yep. NRG. Good news. And they secure the anti-eco fairly comfortably as well. And yeah, this should lead to a 13-5. And I say should doesn't mean it, it would. Yeah, we have said that many times in the past and been wrong many times in the past. So Misfits just on an eco. Sick. 
He does take the Deagle through. There's a little bit of an investment into some pistols there from Misfits, but aside from that, really nothing to get too excited about, nothing to write home about. So, energy invested into the double Mac 10. I think Dap saved his through. Breezy would have invested into his after dropping the AK and NJ. That's a bit of a happy go lucky shot, but not really able to hit that one. Difficult one to hit, obviously. If you hit the shot on a jumping CT, you're going to be feeling pretty confident. You're going to be feeling very happy about yourself. Miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So at least he gave it a crack. Well, you don't miss the shots you don't take. It's just... It's a saying, Kevin. You're not supposed to read into it. Mm. You know me at this stage. Unfortunately. Yes. I don't know why you, why you do it. You know I challenge idioms. So black glove. All right. Well... Good start in the round there for NRG again. Uh, the Misfits player does get picked off early. They're heading in towards the A bomb site, which is incidentally where no CTs are. Uh, bomb's actually a B, though. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, it'll back off. <laughs> okay. I was a little bit scared because he was pushing a little bit forward and he's like, yeah, I'm just going to be chilling out here. Uh, There's still dangerous times because they managed to make their way out underpass and the bomb has a long way to go. Shazam and Daps. Daps will spray forward and just tag down Shazam. And there it is. Sick finds Fugly. That's an AK retrieved. There's still a CT lurking around right now, which is... Oh, he's going to be found. It was going to be Sean. Could have done some damage, but Six now found another kill with the AK-47. That allows Devo Dubek to retrieve another AK. At the stage, Misfits, they have a chance to make it work out. Actually, because Sick has a kit, but I still reckon that saving is more well advised. So they are going to save the two AK-47s. Going to back off, maybe jump on the swings together. A bit of a party. But no. They look at the swings, they go, we're too mature for it, and they just keep walking forward. I like my partner. Oh. I reckon she's watching right now. Nah, I doubt it. No, she liked my tweet, which had a link to the stream, like literally two minutes ago. I still can't believe she called you skinny stick. Well, I mean, it's not wrong. I know. But at the same time, have you ever been called that before? As just so, like a name? One of my ex-girlfriend's mum, she said I was going to blow away in the wind. <laughs> so In a strong cyclone, probably? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, let's not talk about that too much longer. Um, NRG do go 13 up. They lose a couple of guns there, though. I mean, they take two MAC-10s through, which is like, yeah, cool. But they give a couple of AKs over to Misfits. You know, I mean, it wasn't the worst of rounds for Misfits, all things considered. But that allows Misfits to have a really good buy right now, because yeah. with Sick just saving again and again, having the AK-47, that allows the AWP to be passed over to Shazam. Aminek obviously sacrificing a little bit of the economy, so he only has a UMP instead. Still a serviceable defensive side. You obviously, you want more utility. You always do. But this is something where Misfits can try to make it happen. They have to make it happen in this round, otherwise NRG will be up 14-5. Misfits will be back on the eco, or yes. a force buy, and then NRG are in a prime position It'll to close out the game. NRGG. That's actually not too bad. I swear I would not be the first person to say that. No. But I've never heard someone say it before, so I'm claiming it. Anyway, NRG trying to gain control of long here, and sending the Mac 10 first. Checking the corner, which is fair enough, but... Now he's probably not going to get too much done. Needs to just slow down, wait for his team. Bomb's still hanging around in Unpassed or in Connector, I suppose. I have to think NRG's going to rotate back up to the A-bomb site from this point. And this is the advantage when you're so far ahead. Misfits cannot play in a very aggressive style on the CT side like NRG did. With NRG, you can see them constantly challenging for positions because they had rounds to play with. Misfits do not have any rounds to play with. They, ha they are forced to play defensive, don't have much utility. And taking a very different style to how NRG did it. When NRG didn't have utility, they used numbers to try to take territory. Misfits, they're waiting, playing from information. And there's the first smoke and Molotov coming forward. This is not the ideal position that you want to be playing as Shazam, because he's going to be blasted by the AK-47 and the Max 10 is Cirque. Well, Cirque and Breezy will assist Daps, as Daps gets the dinks across with the Mac 10 and you just have to save his misfits. You're locked down at the bomb site. there's no way in. I mean, why is Sean going for it at this stage? You can't go for it. Yeah, scoreline's bad, but you might as well try to save the gun, and Debo Duvet goes, hi, can I come out of unders? And there's three guns watching where he's coming out of. Yeah, so stick the last one left alive here. Uh, still hanging around, but shouldn't really be going down here, though A&J is headed in his direction. Seems like they're hunting down and oh, not quite able to win the duel, but 
Does give away his position there, and if he jumps out into the B-bomb site, Breezy's just going to come high-tailing right over to him. He will hear it. That's not really a job. Yep, that's NRG up 14-5. They should be in prime position to close out the game. And Misfits have no dollars. Well, they have a lot of dollars, but not enough at this point. Fours can maybe get a couple of M4s through there. Will be a very lack of utility for Shazam, at least. Yeah, it'll be I mean, he could probably go Bonnie Armor, I suppose, and get a little bit, but... Well, it'll be three M4s at most, in terms of money-wise, because one person might be able to buy an M4 without body Armor. Well, yeah. So you don't want to be doing that. Don't think so. I'm assuming it's a Misfits tactical pause. I could also see it as being an NRG tactical pause in the sense that, okay, how do we close it out from here? Last two rounds are always the most difficult to close out. We want this to be shot at cleanly. What yep. do we do? It's definitely a Misfits tactical pause. I've received okay. confirmation on that, which uh, would definitely make sense. But come back from 14-5, I'm not sure that this is going to be really on the cards. From what we've seen from Misfits on the CT side, no. But it is going to be a force buy, so, so two, two rifles. Yeah. Which I is mean, expected. it's not a terrible force buy. Like, they've got all at least got guns. They've all at least got armor. Some utility. But it's definitely not where you want to be. And David is going to take a stray bullet through the edge of this spray as well from NRG. So it's not a favorable start. That puts you kind of in the three-shot territory as opposed to four-shot territory, and sometimes that extra bullet is could well, be the difference. Could be the difference, especially in the base site where you're contesting at close range. Well, for the now, amount of times that you do 81 and through with the AK-47, it's a very similar setup, I think, to what NRG was doing last round, where they had uh, a few players making their way up long. Obviously, this time no one going up long just yet for NRG, but I think they're going to. They have that player in connector, and then they have the guy lurking over towards B or just holding off for the rotation with the bomb sitting in the connector between T-Spawn and uh, Playground. So, fairly standard, fairly similar from NRG as to what they did last round. I think a little bit slower, though, uh, in this one. They're not really getting as much control up through long. So, that could be a cause for concern, given there's actually a player there, or two players almost. I think the... NRG most likely suspect that Misfits have forced up or have pistols. So they are going to be taking a lot slower, but Hamanek with this push has completely cleared out long A. It's completely cleared out Fountain and gone. They are not stacking up for an A site take through, you know, long A. And he's on the he's on the hard lurk, on the hard flank. He might be heard out by Fugly though. Maybe not because Hamanek deciding where he wants to go. Maybe he's been heard out, but NRG are going to be charging on the B-bomb site. Misfits, final chance of the dice. They're going to be swinging. They're going to be landing the shot so far. Daps only finding one kill. Fugly coming a little bit late to short, but oh my goodness, Fugly through the smoke. Takes down Devin Tuvek. Sick somehow still alive. And while Fugly should shortly be caught out, he doesn't know where the enemy is. And Sick, what, what is going on? Fugly gets caught out completely by surprise. Not enough time for NRG to work with. They left it a little bit too late. That was a really messy round. Yeah, that was just crazy. Oh my goodness. My goodness indeed. It's not really going to leave Misfits in much of a better position given that they lose both of the M4s that they had, although they have an AK here. So, I mean, they'll get one rifle through, two rifles through. Okay, Shazam's got one. So, uh, I guess it is a little bit better. They've got more utility. They've got head armor on everyone, except Sick. But it's still, you know, not a great buy really out from them. It could definitely be better. So, NRG still with a pretty good shot here in this round. Just need to play that last one out. Play it out like the last one, but maybe a bit better. If they would have had a little time bit faster, there, yeah. I think they probably. Well, I don't know. It's hard to say. They left it a little late. They lost control of a lot of territory, and then by the time that you lose the territory, it's the CTs can stack and kind of gamble. And A and J gonna be making a contact play, which will catch out David Dubek off guard. That, not even a contact play, sorry, just a solo lurk play, and somehow it works. A very risky play. High risk, high reward, though, because Misfits down a number. And AJ looking to push forward again, almost. Almost Nearly catching punished. the price. Yeah. He's alive, but burns extra utility, forces more attention his way, and Amanek, so much work for him to do right now with yeah. the UMP. Well, NRG did check this angle last time, but oh, maybe he's going to push and catch him off guard. Not quite, though. Breezy, and news for Shazam. He's used up all of his bullets almost, and he goes down anyway, fully flashed out. Daps gets the kill. This is not looking good. The A takes have been pretty straightforward, really, for NRG. Particularly when Breezy's just popping heads. Yeah, and Sean's just made his position known as well. So he just has to... He's around from all angles. They're watching his smokes very carefully. 
4v1, what do you do with Sean? There's nothing you can do but back out and hope you can get a few kills with the UMP. Can't even yeah. save a rifle at this time. Maybe he can find a frag and save a rifle. Like, if he can get Breezy here, he's, there's probably a way out for him. That would involve pushing up into a bank, which I feel like he's probably not going to do at this point. 15-6. That's been absolutely dominating so far for NRG. They're going to be cleaning it out, which is good to see. You don't want to be kind of straggling, letting rounds bleed away. No, not really. So he won't be able to save uh, any rifles. In this case, he's going to be saving that UMP, which is, I mean, really at this point, not what you want. No, oh, not he left it too that. late because it's too close to the bomb. And well, that is, I think, the game summed up, really. Yeah. Close, but yeah, you're dead in the water. Yeah. That's not how the saying goes, but... Dead in the dirty water. I actually learned the saying, apparently, close but no cigar. Yeah? Yeah. Did apparently you it's that like... Before? No, I've heard it before, oh. but I was like wondering about the origin, because you right. know me at this stage. I always wonder the origin of okay. the stories. Yeah, tell so. us. Apparently the origin is like back during the, the fairs or, or whatnot, back in two centuries ago about so. Okay. Um... The prize was a cigar, oh. apparently. It's like, because it's, it's considered kind of a vintage item, you know, high class yeah, item. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, if you came close, but you didn't win, close you didn't get, you wouldn't get the cigar. So close, but no cigar. Right. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's 100 percent truth at the moment at the stage, but who knows? That's anyway, very hard. what I know the truth is is that NRG are now one player up here in this round. AJ getting the pick. Sean is going to go for a peek and try and find some frags, try and trade it back, but. Really, all he's going to do is sacrifice a fair chunk of his HP. So NRG are really in a great spot right now. I mean, obviously, Misfits, you can tell by looking at the, yourself that they don't have a good buy here. They've lost a player already. They've got not much HP on one player. Fugly, oh, just gets absolutely demolished by Shazam, who maybe has some semblance of control here now on the A-bomb site. But Sick goes down to A and J. The rotation is not working there for Amanek in terms of the second man spray down. He did get one, but it's just not enough at this point. Misfits have lost so much up to it. Unless Sean can come up big with this CZ, which he cannot, I think that's going to be the round over. Yep, that should be game as well. So we're looking at a 1-1 split, which is the expected result, but they take each other's map picks instead, which was probably the un uh, unexpected result. 16-6, yep. pretty, pretty clean game. Sorry, not close games, clean games today. Yep. 16-8, 16-6, which is the departure from the usual. Definitely. Normally we see some uh, fairly long games, even... You know, like we sort of expected coming into this, these two teams were going to be fairly evenly matched given how close they are on standings, given their past history between each other, all that kind of jazz. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I guess they technically are. Like, it's two, or well, it's a 1-1, one, one, and then, you know, they're both fairly comfortable map victories. But I thought that the maps would go a bit longer. Yes, uh, especially, especially overpass, I think, mm. given it was like a 5-10 half. Uh, starting CT yeah. side, should be able to get a few more rounds. Didn't work out because NRG played a lot better on their T side. Yeah. I felt like that was the confidence factor coming in from the CT side. So that was, I think, instrumental for both sides. Starting on the yeah. CT side, just got their confidence up. They took the aim deals and they carried that forward towards their, TC, their T side and they just completely blasted the opposition. You can see A&J towards the end just solo walking out. Yeah. He was confident taking deals. You wouldn't have seen that in Mirage, for example. Because when they started T-side, they didn't have the confidence to yep, make those yep, plays. Definitely. They didn't have the rounds in their pocket to kind of go, you know what, I can kind of throw away a couple of hundreds and, you know, still be fine. Yeah, well, it was a great scenario really for NRG in overpass. I mean, I wonder how the, the day would have gone had, let's say, Misfits started on the T-side of Mirage and then started on the CT side of overpass. I mean, would we have had a 1-1 again, but split Mirage overpass going the way of NRG and Misfits respectively? So... Always interesting to kind of consider those kinds of things, but obviously at the end of the day, it is a 1-1 regardless. I mean, for both teams, that's not too bad. Uh, I don't know if it's enough, though, for NRG to get their way into that top six. I think I they're, still, yeah, they're I still top six, but I don't know if they're going to stay there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it depends on a couple of percentages and whatnot. Yeah, it's a lot of... still a lot to go because there's still a couple of match days. Um, so, I mean, at this point, maybe it's not even worth theory crafting, but... There's only a couple of match days left, so yeah. I mean, there's there there was a sheet out there which has all the scenarios listed and the percentage chances of the teams making it. And I think outside of the top six teams that we'll talk about earlier on, it's the other teams have barely any chance of making it. Renegades had the best chance, and it was like a 31.8 percent. Oh, 31 is not actually that bad, to be honest. But when you look at it holistically, out of 100 percent, three out of ten chances, you wouldn't be putting your money on it. No, probably not. Um, anyway. I guess it depends on how they went today, and we'll find out. Uh, obviously, I've got no idea right well, now. Well, they went overtime against, overtime Ro against, against Rogue, Ghost. No, Rogue, sorry. Rogue, yeah, which is a point lost minimum. Which is bad which already, because you needed every single yeah, point. Exactly. But 
I mean, if they can still 2-0 that, who knows? They may be still in with a shot. I don't know. Um, I haven't really looked into it enough. But overall, for Misfits, I think that was a pretty good day. Like, to be able to get that one. I think it was a good day. put them in a really good spot. Good day for both sides in terms yeah. of results. Because for NRG, it was... They had... I think NRG had less chances. I can't remember if they were the team in the top six or not in the top six. Yeah. But it's like, for the team that... Like, Misfits, I think, was kind of 100% secured already. So that was kind of like routine in the park where it's like, yeah, we you know we got our one point very early on. You can see probably an overpass, they kind of put their foot off the pedal because it wasn't as important for them yeah. anymore. You don't want to be revealing strats on your map pick necessarily at this stage. Probably not. Given the amount of tournaments that you're going to be playing coming forward, you know, potential like EPL now, I think is locked in for Misfits. You know, got other tournaments coming up for Misfits as well who are just on a not a meteoric rise, but, you know, a steady it's rise steady. up there. Yeah. So they don't want to be utilizing the six strategies they have an overpass. Because I think overpass, they picked it just in case NRG took Mirage. They would have been like, okay, we know some of the things that we need to do. On the T side, they just did the same thing again and again. It's just kind of, it just felt to me like, okay, we'll try this, but we're not going to try and give our 100% all. Yeah, definitely. And take I mean, this map. overall, whatever. Like, it's all well, one, one. It's definitely not too bad for them. Having a look at how things went. Renegades did end up closing that one out against Rogue in the overtime. Haven't started map number two by the looks of things, so that must have taken them a little bit of a little bit of a while. Anyway, for us, 16-8 on map number one of Mirage goes the way of Misfits. 16-6 on Overpass goes the way of NIG. So each team, as you said earlier, picking up their opponent's choice, but still 1-1. Can't really complain about that for either of these teams. No, I mean, like I said, both teams will be happy about the result in terms of how they performed, I think, in the in the maps that they won, on the maps that they lost. I don't think Misfits, once again, are too down, but NRG will be taking a look at their T-side and going, okay, we ran a lot of basic strats, but what can we do to tweak to improve from here? Yeah. And I think that's that's the more important thing coming in towards the final parts of the season. NRG are by no means relegated out of the league, but... Oh, no. They, they want to be pushing for Season 7. I reckon they want to be making finals. This is a roster that has a lot of potential. They have to stick consistent. Yep. I've seen too many times NRG is such a strong start to the season. The chop and change. They stayed same this season. That's good to see. Yeah. Continue with this lineup. Get them to... Like, they're putting in the hours. They're putting in the effort. Put faith in this lineup. And I reckon they'll reward you with a top six in the next season. Well, we shall have to find out next season, though. But... I mean, that's going to be the end of us for today, really. Obviously, you can see there we don't have a second matchup. So if you want to see more, you can go have a look on the other stream. Obviously, there's going to be more match days coming up after this one as well. Uh, that'll be tomorrow, I believe. Yes. Um, which is, I mean, Misfits and Ghost are maybe a little bit of a mismatch there, but that's the, really the opportunity there for Misfits to really get those points on the board and really secure their place in the, the top six. And, I, and I, at the same time, Misfits can't really underestimate Ghost as well because Ghost will be trying to swing with all they have. Yeah. I mean, Ghost were able to take Splice towards five maps in another tournament recently, mm -hmm. so they were able to like take Splice to five maps. So by no means can Misfits just underestimate them and go, it should be clean 2-0. Mm. Ghosts have upset Renegades. They have upset Liquid. Maybe Misfits their next upset. Who knows? Who knows? I guess we find out tomorrow. Yeah. Well, the viewers will find out. We will as well. We will we'll, as we'll well be the viewers. as we watch it as well yeah. because you won't see us, I think, for you the rest of the season. Yeah, we're For done. the regular season. Peace. Well, we're not leaving just yet. Not yet, but... Any peace. any parting... What do you mean to peace? <laughs> peace. That is such, that's not an Australian thing to say. See you, mate. How's that? See you, mate. See you, mate. That's, that's probably more um, Yeah, I mean, the parting, parting words. I'm not one of those guys, Kevin. Because you'll see us again? Is that your thoughts? Or? Yeah, we'll yeah. probably be back next week. We're season. like a bad penny, as the Americans will say. We'll be rolling yeah. back around. But that's it for us from Australia. That's it for the B stream today and probably for the regular season. Until then, take care and everyone have a good evening.
Thank you.